Yes, 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 I know content creation vice is all over the map. Yes, I know people are telling you, niche down, spin up, don't niche. Uh, find your voice, what does that mean? Find your purpose, what does that mean? Explode your passion, what does that mean? Nobody knows. You hear a lot of instructions, but you aren't necessarily told how, especially when you're brand new to content creation or you've been creating for a while and you're feeling like you're spinning your wheels, you're feeling like you're a little stuck. A lot of it can be down to your brand voice, your style, what you're delivering. I'm going to hook you up with the world's greatest consultant that can help you. And it's kind of simple. This is a series I'll call Nice to Know, Nice to Have November. These are the things I wish I knew or I wish I had when I started content creating. When I started, you could post whatever you wanted to YouTube and nobody cared. I started way back in 06 when YouTube first came out. Right around the partner program days, around 2012 to 14, doing things kind of platform specific really mattered. And honestly, I still kind of just posted whatever I wanted until about 2019 when I got serious about it. And now I've been here the whole time coaching YouTube, talking about tech and creator tech because that's where I come from. That's where I love. I'm going to show you how even with no experience whatsoever, you can start to dial in your style, your brand voice. And all you're gonna need is a phone. Now I have my kid in this weird little setup here, but I'll show you why. The first things I'm gonna do is place my phone in, do not disturb, because I don't want anybody to bother us, okay? And then I'm going to open up ChatGPT. But I'm gonna use the voice assistant that's built into ChatGPT and I just want you to hang out with me for a couple of seconds because we're going to do some brainstorming, if you will, a little soul searching. Now, in my case, I'm going to tell it to go into temporary mode because I don't want to mess up my settings while I teach you this. In your case, don't do that. Just let it store the memories because it will help you in the long run. OK, so first I'm going to press the button to start a chat with ChatGPT. I like Juniper. She's my friend. Hi, I would like you to go into temporary mode while we have this conversation. Is that okay? Absolutely. I'm ready to switch into temporary mode for our chat. Let's dive in. Okay, what I would like you to do is to interview me to help me find a better way to deliver my content to my audience on YouTube. So you're going to be a YouTube coach. You're going to ask me interview questions to help me dial in a content flow and brainstorm some ideas. You want a friend? You got one. We can chat about anything and everything. I'm here for the laughs, the deep thoughts, and all the random stuff in between. So what's on your mind, my friend? Okay. So as my YouTube coach, one of the first things I want to do is find a way to meet people where they are when it comes to their content creation journey. My audience is relatively new, but oftentimes I can't think of what subjects they need to learn about because I have so much experience, these things are sort of second nature to me. Can you help me come up with some ideas that's really common that beginner YouTubers struggle with? Absolutely. Meeting your audience where they are is key. For beginner YouTubers, some common struggles include niche selection. Many beginners find it challenging to choose a specific niche or topic for their channel. They often struggle with planning content that is both engaging and relevant to their audience. Three, equipment and tech. Understanding what equipment they need and how to use it can be overwhelming. Four, on-camera confidence. Feeling comfortable and natural on camera is a hurdle for many new creators. Five, editing skills. Learning the basics of video editing and using editing software can be a significant learning curve. Six, SEO and titles and descriptions that attract views is often a mystery to beginners. Consistency. Developing a consistent posting schedule can be tough when you're just starting out. How do these resonate with you? These sound pretty good. Now, as I walk through this process with them, I struggle with when the people tell me that I need to have a style and a voice. What questions would you ask me if you were trying to figure out what was my style and what was my voice? Maybe even what was my tone? 
Please ask me those questions so that I can answer them for you to help me dial this in. To help you identify your style, voice, and tone, I'd ask, one, how would you describe your personality in real life? Uh, my person, oh, let's do these one at a time, please. Is that okay? Of course. Let's take it step by step. So, how would you describe your personality in real life? Are you more laid back and casual, or do you prefer a more formal approach? Oh, absolutely laid back and casual, and I'm pretty much a straight shooter. Like, I like to get to the point, but I like to make it fun. I don't want to scare people. I want them to feel like this is a safe spot to ask those questions. Got it. Your laid back and straightforward approach, combined with a fun vibe, definitely helps create that safe space. Now, thinking about your content, what topics or themes do you feel most passionate about sharing with your audience? I think right now, YouTube growth is super important. Teaching people about video podcasting, especially video podcasting through YouTube is very important because the SEO that you can garner through this is quite amazing. And then I really like to hone in on some of the mindset things that it takes to become a creator because, you know, a lot of creators, they get quote unquote creator burnout. And I like to help people avoid that just through a little common sense planning and systems. How's that sound? That sounds like a solid foundation for your channel. With those topics in mind, how do you usually like to present information? Do you prefer a more structured, scripted approach, or do you lean towards a conversational, off-the-cuff style? Oh, absolutely love conversational, off-the-cuff. Now, when I'm doing those, I do tend to put up two or three bullet points to hammer through, and then I like to provide a little bit of a story or a backstory that can sort of make people feel relatable, if you will, make sure that my content's relatable. And then I like to back it home with a nice solid point. But the most important takeaway, I don't wanna be one of those guys that just gives advice without giving an action plan that they could follow or at least have a starting point. So it's always important that there is an action plan and there's, you know, I guess the people call it actionable steps that you can take in order to get this growth or this uh, adjustment, whatever it is that you're trying to learn from me. That approach sounds engaging and effective. With your focus on conversational delivery, relatability, and actionable advice, you're well on your way to creating content that resonates. As a next step, you might consider asking your audience directly through polls or comments what specific challenges they're facing. This can give you even more targeted topics to address in your videos. How does that sound? That sounds absolutely amazing. If I wanted to make a video right now that would probably be the most impactful for what beginning content creators go through, what would be the topic, the bullet points, and the call to action for that particular video? For a high-impact video for beginning content creators, let's focus on how to start and grow your YouTube channel in 2024. Here's how it could look. How to start and grow your YouTube channel in 2024. Bullet points. Finding your niche. Tips on selecting a niche that aligns with your passion and has audience demand. Two, basic equipment setup. Recommendations for budget-friendly gear to get started without breaking the bank. Content planning. How to brainstorm video ideas, outline your content, and maintain consistency. Audience engagement. The importance of engaging with your viewers through comments and community posts. Five, basic SEO tips. How to optimize your titles, descriptions, and tags for better visibility. Man, these are amazing. I have one last thing and then we're gonna call it a day. If you had to give three tips that would help creators with consistency, what would those three tips be? Sure, here are three tips to help creators stay consistent. One, create a content calendar. 
Plan your content in advance by mapping out your video topics, filming dates, and upload schedule. This helps you stay organized and ensures a steady flow of content. Batch filming and editing. Record multiple videos in one session and edit them together. This approach saves time and keeps you ahead of your publishing schedule. Set realistic goals. Determine how often you can realistically post without burning out. It's better to start with one high-quality video a week and gradually increase as you become more comfortable with the process. Would these tips work for you? Mm, hi, すみません。質問があります。これは大丈夫ですかはい、大丈夫ですよ。どんな質問ですかあ、最初の質問は、いつまで、あの、毎日あ、ビデオ編集がちょっと大嫌いなんですけども、編集は、あの、必要でしょそして、編集のティープがありますか編集がちょっと苦手な方でも、効率的に進める方法はいくつかあります。まず、テンプレートを活用しましょう。イントロやアウトロ、テロップのスタイルなどをテンプレート化することで、毎回ゼロから作る手間が省けます。ああ、そうそうそう、はい、はい、わかりました、わかりました。今日の、あの、今日は、あの、本当にありがとうございましたけど、今からもうちょっと忙しい、そう、まだ、また後で。わかりました。今日はお話できてよかったです。お忙しい中、ありがとうございました。またいつでもお話ししましょうね。Bam! Did you see that? Look, even at the end, she switches in the Japanese for me. Basically, I just asked her, like, if I was trying to, I hated editing, and if I wanted to get better at editing, like, what would be some of her tips? And her tip was maybe to build a template, especially something that's going to have the intro and outro. So all I have to do is come in and backfill the middle. So I want you to see when people say use the AI for brainstorming, not just for creating your content, but for brainstorming. One of the simplest things you could do is just have a conversation. Now, it's written all of this down. When you go back to the web, all of this chat's going to be there. And if I didn't have temporary mode on, it would actually write the pertinent parts of that conversation to the memory in ChatGPT, which means that when you come back later and start to ask it questions, it's built a knowledge base based on what you want. Now, as you use chat to help you come up with these brainstorming ideas, Have it ask you questions about brand strategy. Have it ask you questions about audience engagement strategy. Have it ask you questions about building the customer avatar. All these things are important. I'll totally make another video about building customer avatar later, but I just wanted you to see with your phone and ChatGPT voice, you can do some killer brainstorming that will help you going. You never have to be stuck in a creative rut ever again. The process is too simple nowadays. Like I always say, there is no greater time than now to be a content creator. This has been another video in my series of Nice to Know, Nice to Have November. And this video has been sponsored by Doc Pops. Yeah, that's me. I'm the sponsor. <laughs> This is me、uh, helping to sling some of these lovely mic covers. These are acoustic foam microphone covers that I make that will not only make you look fresh, they will make you sound fresh. And it will just、mm, save your bacon, stop you from having plosives. And again, it just looks absolutely cool while you're doing it. So, what I'm going to do right now is remind you that in the description, there's a little link. You can click over there. You can buy pops. And hey, holidays are coming up. You got a podcast or content creator in your life. You know somebody that has one of these microphones, want to make them look fresh? Pop the button, grab yourself a doc pop, and call it a day. It's a fantastic way to help me support the channel. Also, down there, you'll see the little join button. If you like this series of what I've been doing, I have, listen, I always say listen to your audience. And my audience is like, I like the November thing, but we might need you to keep it going. So you know, one never knows. Do one. <laughs> anyway, right now I am going to pop up another video in this series I think you should watch. Go ahead and give it a check out. I need、Peace. to know everything. Who and the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George. I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse. I'm ready for war. I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost. I need to know everything. Now you'd be surprised at the info you get just by letting them talk, so I'm letting them talk. Gotta keep quiet.